Hello everybody out there in YouTube land, and welcome to DC Fans United. So today I am taking a look at a comic I've been wanting to review for quite some time, Stormwatch number one from the New 52. So starting off on the cover, I like it pretty well. It looks nice, and we have the Martian Manhunter, Apollo, and the Midnighter on the cover. Now, before I forget, I've got a quick shout out for my friends at OutrightGeekery.com. It's a cool geek website, and I have a link for them in the description box. So, starting off, this book is written by Paul Cornell. The artist is Miguel Sepaluvita. The colorist is Alan Pasalonaquita. The letterer is Rob Lee. And the cover is also by Miguel Sepaluvita. So, Stormwatch was created by Jim Lee and Brandon Choi, and was originally, it started on Image, and moved to Wildstorm, and then DC bought Wildstorm. And when the New 52 launched, Stormwatch and its characters were brought into the mainstream DC universe. So, we'll go ahead and start off on the first page here, and right away I think it looks pretty cool. This whole book has a real sci-fi feel to it, and I haven't read a lot of Stormwatch, so I don't know if it's always that way, but I do know that this writer who wrote this, Paul Cornell, uh, also wrote some Doctor Who as well as Superman, so he definitely has a sci-fi influence. So they're on this ship here, and they realize, uh, are talking about a giant horn that has been blown, and I actually did a review for the comic that that ties into, so it says here that it's tied into Superman number one from the New 52, so I have a link to that comic in the description box. Anyways though, that horn has been blown, and they're investigating it, and the team here is talking about whether or not they should recall the people they sent to Moscow, and another guy named Harry, Harry Tanner. So they go to the next page, and we see this cool full splash page. And this is the team that is in Moscow. And we see Apollo there hitting the ground. He says, I'm not a superhero, and I don't want to join your team. And we go to the next page, and we see the guy on the ground here, and he says, Do we look like superheroes? They're amateurs. We're the professionals. And he says, I'm Jack Hawksmore. I can control, manipulate, and communicate with cities. So that's one thing I thought was really cool about this comic, is the powers these guys have are really unique. So I don't know what all he can do by being able to manipulate cities, but for example, that here he's just using the bricks to make a chair for this guy if he wants to sit down. And then this other lady here in red is called the Projectionist, and she can manipulate all forms of media, but also observe all forms of media. That is her power, so she, on this next page, we see her looking through articles and stuff online, and they find what they need to about this guy here, and they confront him, and they want him to join their team, and you see the Martian Manhunter here on this page changes from his disguise to his real form, and Apollo flies off because he doesn't want to join their team. So we go to the next page, and we see this really crazy thing. The people on the spaceship see the moon, and you see it's got like a claw coming out of it. So the moon, it says, is changing form and shape. So that Harry Tanner guy we saw earlier is on the moon, and he's fighting all of these, like, automaton things that are coming out of the ground that are made from the moon rock. And he falls through the ground, and we see he's in this cavern, and there's this really creepy giant eye. And it, I gotta admit, it looks pretty cool, but it's a part of the moon. So the giant eye says, I have cut off your communications. I am the first response to the sounding of the horn. So see, the horn was blown, and so now things are going to start happening. So he says, I am the scourge of worlds. I am here to make your world stronger through devastation. You should be afraid. And Harry Tanner says, I think I rather am. <laughs> so then in the next page it goes on, and the eye says, Good, something is coming, something huge. I am the only survivor of it, an intellect that animates matter. I arrive long before it to try to make worlds strong enough to fight it. 
So basically the moon is like animated matter now and it's sentient and I guess it's going to attack the earth. So it sends some tendrils into this guy's head and gets all the information it needs about Stormwatch and stuff through all his memories. So we go to the next page and this, these two are in the Himalayas. They were sent there to find the giant horn, which they succeed at. And we see it here. It is really gigantic. And we go to the next page and one of them has teleportation powers. So that's what they're doing there. They're going to teleport. Then we go back to Apollo, and he's being followed by the others still, and he says, What have you done to gravity? Why are you doing this? Because he's upside down. And the guy says, Sorry, I've been told we can't take no for an answer. And it's not the gravity, I just asked the city to confuse you. I mean, that's his power, is he can manipulate cities. So that's pretty neat. So Apollo says, I I've had enough, and he hits Martian Manhunter. But Martian Manhunter is really strong too, so doesn't take him down. Martian Manhunter changes into this big monster, as you can see here. And this is a full page. And then they have a battle, and ultimately the Manhunter wins. And then as they're talking, all of a sudden you see on this next page, all three of them get taken down. The three people in the team, the Manhunter, the Projectionist, and the guy who can manipulate cities. And then uh, they say, all right, who are you then? More of the same. And then we see the final page here, and he says, I'm the Midnighter. So I thought it was pretty good, I guess. I mean, yeah, it's good. It, it's certainly well drawn. I really like the art throughout. It's a little short. Uh, this is a shorter comic. But I thought it was good. I was certainly wanting to read the next issue and see what happens. It really makes me want to go back and read the older Stormwatch from when it was on Image or Wildstorm. Because now, to be honest, it seems a little weird that it's in the DC universe, right? Because you've got Apollo, but then there's also going to be Superman. And you've got the Midnighter, but then there's also going to be Batman. So they were always supposed to be kind of parallels, not exactly copies of those characters, but very similar. All right, so let me know what you thought down in the comments. Let me know if you've read this comic. Let me know if you're a fan of Stormwatch, the old comics or the new comics. And if you aren't subscribed, please subscribe. End of line.